copy. If you're in any doubt about what we've sent down on our slave, then produce anything of its like, anywhere near remotely of its like. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And today we have a super challenge about making Quran like the Quran. Uh, uh, we will open our Skype very soon. So if there's any Mohammedan would like to share with us why even such a challenge is exist. Uh, because a challenge like this, I find it very hilarious and very stupid. And it doesn't make sense because I can say I challenge Allah to make one page like my book. And then when Allah, he make one page like my book, I would say, this is my page. <laughs> so the stupidity sometimes go beyond imagination. Either we have a God who is making a challenge can be fit to be considered a challenge. Or the challenge is stupid. As an example, what about this God? He do something in front of our eyes and then he say, can you do the same? Then I will say, okay, well, this is not, I cannot do it, right? You know, I give up. Like as an example, he can resurrect somebody from death. Then he say, can you do what I just did? Then we will say, you know what? We give up. No, we cannot. But to say you write a book and then can you make a book like my book? That is the most silly, stupid challenge ever. However, A person who knows Islam very well, he will find sooner or later that the one who wrote the Quran is not even Allah. And I am not making a statement here. Muhammad himself confirmed that. This is a hadith, and this is why we say we are very thankful for Muhammad because he, keep, he cannot keep his mouth shut. The more he talk, the more he make poo-poo. And this is one of his poo-poo. The Prophet, uh, not this hadith, hold on. This hadith. The Prophet said that the first thing Allah he created, he created a pen. The first thing he created, he created what? A pen. And then Allah, he told the pen to write what you write, he write everything. Any Muhammadan have any opinion? Who is the one who wrote everything 
the Quran, the destiny, Muhammad story, Muhammad life, what people will do, what people will not do. The one who wrote this, is the pen. <laughs> so where is the Quran of Allah? So Allah, he made a pen, and then he told the pen, write everything. And then the pen, he did write everything. Is Allah even telling the pen what to write? If so, show me. As you see, this is the whole details in the front of us. It says that he told him to write the destiny, to write whatever, you know, forever. For what? Forever. And the first thing Allah he created, according to Muhammad here, is the pen. And that will bring more questions to the stupidity of this religion. Because in different locations, Muhammad, he said that the first thing Allah created is something else. And as you see, this is a Sahih Hadith. It says here in this Hadith that Allah, he cast his light. The first thing Allah, he created in this Hadith here. Uh, he threw a light at the darkness. Okay. And it says upon them. Them who? The verse here saying, or this hadith saying, that Allah, he created people in darkness. And then Allah, he cast light upon them. So the first creation Allah he created, there was just total darkness. And there is a people who they are living there in that darkness. And then Allah he cast his light upon them. Okay. So whoever is touched by the light is guided. And whoever not, he goes astray. And then we will go to the pen. We are just coming to that part. So how you are guided Allah, he hit his flashlight on the people. The one who the light hit him, <laughs> he was guided. The one the light did not hit him, because the light obviously is not so strong, <laughs> he was not guided. <laughs> and then the story continues saying, not only he is not guided, he goes astray. It is for this reason that I say to you, I say that the pen have dried with Allah's knowledge. What is that? The pen has dried with Allah's knowledge. I'm trying to connect the relationship between Mr. Pen, not Mr. Bean, and the relationship with the knowledge of Allah and the light of Allah hitting the one, striking the one who became guided. Any Muhammadan can help us. My Skype is open, by the way. Then we continue. The madness of Muhammad continue explaining his religion. This is the one we showed you already. And as you see, all of them, they are Sahih. This is different hadith from Jami al Turmudi is saying, that Allah, uh, he created the pen as the first thing he created. And he wrote whatever is going to be forever. Here we need to ask ourselves, Allah just said to the pen write. He did not tell him what to write. So the Muslim, they say that the Quran, is telling us about what will happen for destinies to come forever. So one of the things that the pen he wrote is the Quran.
Therefore, the one who made the Quran is a pen made in a man manufacturer. You see, you might say, well, the one who made the pen is Allah, and then the pen made the Quran, and then by doing this, by saying this, you can say that Allah is the one who made the Quran. No. Because as you see here, the pen is independent. All what Allah he said to the pen, just write. He did not tell him what to write. He told him, write their destiny, write everything. Write everything. That's it. I read carefully what Allah he said to the pen. This is the conversation. He said to him, to the pen, sorry. He said to it, write. So it wrote what will be forever. Is that Google? Alexa? What is this? So then we find that based on this, that the one who wrote the Quran is not even Allah. And the one who made the destiny is not even Allah. It's an automatic pen created, made by Allah. Here we have more details. And this is telling you how Muhammad, he add you know, more stories to his story. Like every, because if Muhammad is telling story, why the story is not the same everywhere? Uh, here it says that one of the companions of Muhammad, he said, I heard the messenger of Allah, he says, the first thing Allah created was the pen. He said to it, write. The pen he asked what I should write. This is a talking pen. This is a talking pen. Question, is that been a living pen? What do you mean the pen? He said to Allah, what I shall write. Any Muslim can explain to us? Allah, he created the pen, we got it. Then the pen, having the discussion with Allah, Allah said to the pen, write. The pen, he says to him, okay, sir, what I shall write. That's mean this pen is a living creature. Is he a person, his name is Pen, or he is a pen? Do we have any Mohammedan from the Pen tribe? Anyone? My Skype is open in case you like to pin me a call. So here we notice that the conversation is very limited. There's a conversation between two. One he is pen, and the other one supposedly is Allah. Allah, he said to the pen, write. The pen, he says to him, what I will write. Uh, and by the way, the translation here, it says, my Lord. He does not even call him Allah, which is weird. So what I will write, my Lord, he said, write what was degree, decree about everything till the last hours come. Now, when this conversation is ended, and I challenge the Muslim to give me more details to make it clear that Allah, he told him details. He did not. He just told him, write everything. He need, we need to ask ourselves how the pen, he got the information about what to write and why he's writing anyway. Actually, it's a big challenge to the Muhammadan to tell us why Allah even need a pen and why he is writing. Any writing. You see, God, he wrote the Ten Commandments to Moses, but this is to give it to Moses, not because God, he need to keep it in his room. Allah now, he creating a pen, and he is writing with that pen, the pen moving by itself, the destiny, the decree, everything, until the day of judgment. Actually, even after the day of judgment. It says forever. Here it says, until the day of judgment. In the other hadith, it says forever. And here you see there's a contradiction, because there's a huge difference between forever and until the day of judgment. 
right? Here it says the day of judgment. Here it says forever. What will be forever? And forever, part of it is going to be the, he the heaven and the hell. Because they are forever too. And here you see how Muhammad, he contradicts himself. In two words at the end, he made himself exposed. So, questions Muslims cannot answer because this is a very funny religion. We discovered that the God of Islam, he did not make the Quran. It was Mr. Penn or Mr. Bean. And Allah writing a book for himself does not make sense. Because why Allah, he need to write a, pen and a book for himself? You see, uh, I write my knowledge or what I learned because, you know, knowledge is, it's, it's part of it you learn from somebody. And part of it, it is you thinking and teaching someone else. So you take what you learn and you add to it from your knowledge, or let us say from your thinking, and then you can write a book, and that would be your book. Because if you are taking just what people say before you, that is not your book no more, because simply you are just saying what they said. Here we have, Allah is training the pen to write. The pen who wrote, the, the pen who thought, the pen did not get details from Allah, and I challenged the Muslim to show me where it says the details. In the same time, we have a talking pen, which means this pen is a living pen. If we try to find the description where the pen is even writing, <laughs> that is even more hilarious. Allah, I'm trying to find you something in English, but maybe we will not be able to find those in English because they are very funny and hilarious. Let us find some hadith. And then you will see why I'm laughing. If you go in the Quran, actually, You will find the Quran mentioning in chapter 82, verse number 22. And by the way, some of you say, like, I better zoom out so they can read the whole thing, like the numbers, etc. My friend, always when I mention anything, I say the number, I say the chapter, same for the hadith. However, always you can freeze uh, the video. You can search for the exact text in your Google, Prophet Google, peace be upon him. And you will find exactly the verse. Very easy. So, Allah in chapter 85, verse number 22, he did not say that he put everything in guarded tablet. It was the pen. Now, we have two things then. We have the guarded tablet. And here, I want you to focus with me with the word guarded. Why Allah he need to guard his tab tablet if it is with him? Who has access to it? Allah he put the tablet between the eyes of an angel. His name is Israfil. And by the way, this is exists between the Shia and the Sunni, they share the same understanding for this story. Let us see what Ibn Kathir want to say about this chapter 85, verse number 22. And then now we have zero Muslim trying to contact us. Fear in the atmosphere. So this is Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir saying about this verse. 
meaning among the most high gathering guarded from any increase or decrease, distortion or change. <laughs> but hold on. Anyone notice with me what does that mean? Let us see between a few who is the deep thinker. Always there is a special one somewhere who think differently. Anyone notice what does that mean? Focus with me carefully. Allah, he wrote a tablet and he kept it with him. He put it between the two eyes of the angel Israfil and the border of it is covered by Zabarjad. I will see what Zabarjad is in, in, our, in English. I will try to find what the word is. And the tablet is made from flour. Flour, like, you know, the one you make bread from, which is very weird. And the purpose of this tablet, so nobody can increase and nobody can decrease and nobody can do distortion or a change. Why Allah, he need this tablet if he is going to be having it? And why he is worried about the change if nobody can touch it? You can text me only if you are a Muslim. If you are not, please don't. Anyone? And there is a bigger problem here. As long as the pen he wrote in this tablet, everything from the beginning, remember the first thing Allah he created, it was the pen. And he told him to write everything. That's me, the Torah is there. The Injil is there. The book of Psalm is there. So why Allah don't share it with his prophet Muhammad? As long Allah, he have a copy of everything and it's guarded in a guarded tablet and this guarded tablet written from the beginning of the time. If you notice with me here in the, in the, in the verses, the verse before it says, the Quran is in the tablet. Does that mean the tablet is only for the Quran? If so, that means Muhammad, he lied when he said that Allah, he told the pen to write everything. Do we have any Muhammadan, have any comment? By the way, tomorrow I might, I might be early morning in my time. So get ready, we might have a very hot occasion. Do we have any Muhammadan? Then if we ask the Muslims, tell us please about this uh, tablet. You will read the stories, and by the way, Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in Arabic. I'm sure if I go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, I will find a different story from Ibn Kathir in English, as usual. And here we go. I was right. This is Ibn Kathir in English, in Arabic, sorry, as you see. While in English, it's one line, it's just one line. There's two lines. One is reading the verse. The other line is to explain the verse. Ibn Kathir in Arabic is way longer. 
And it says that this is something preserved in the forehead of the angel Israfil. And it says here that Allah, he put it, this tablet, between the eyes of Israfil to the point that Israfil himself, the angel, he cannot even look at it. And then Ibn Kathir, he described this tablet, how big, how, how wide it is. So he say here that this lawh, he made it from, uh, you know, uh, uh, like a flower or from pearl or whatever. And the size of it is between the distance between the earth and the heaven. And the width of it is between the east and the west. And the edges of this is made by pearl. And rubies. The side of it is made from red rubies. And the pen which write in it is, is a pen from light. And the writing in it, or the word in it, it's connected to the throne of Allah. <laughs> which originally in the lap of an angel. If you don't believe me, that this is what it says. And here actually there's more description. Here it says. Let us see actually if we can find this hadith in English. Here, give me a second. And then we will show you the... No, we cannot find it. Uh, uh, anyway, I will send you the link so you guys, you can save it. I will translate to English first. This is the English translation. Look what happened to Ibn Kathir in English, guys. Ibn Kathir in English, translation for the verse. This is just the verse we are talking about. All of this page is for one verse. In Ibn Kathir in English, it is just this. Can you believe it? This is why I say to you, you cannot learn Islam from Muslims. What kind of a translation? He ate the whole translation. Why he ate it? Are you translating or making a new book? So they took the whole long translation and they make it one line because now what is left is this, this. Compared to what? Compared to this. <laughs> And you believe it. So anyway, let me send you the link and you can use Google Translation. I translated for you already what it says. So Allah, he preserved the tablet between the two eyes of Israfil. Israfil is an angel. Muhammad, he stole the names again from other people. He do not know even what Israfil mean. And Israfil is not permitted to look at it. That's why he put it between his eyes. In this tablet, Allah, he wrote in it, all the decree. What comes before and after. And it describes how this tablet look like. Rubies, red rubies, you name it. The tablet, nobody can see and nobody can read save Allah alone. As you see, even the angel, he cannot read it. <clears throat> and if Allah, he want to give a permission to somebody, he will, supposedly, according to the interpretation. In the middle of the tablet, it says, 
Allah he wrote that his religion is Islam and Muhammad is his servant and his messenger. Can you believe it? This is in the front of the tablet. Allah he sent 124,000 messenger and prophets. But Allah he wrote in the front of the tablet what is supposed to be the Shahada. And then he described the look of this uh, tablet. And look how big this tablet, obviously Allah, he cannot write small font. His eyes is not really sharp. And if, if this is true, that this tablet where Allah he wrote everything is in that size, I wonder, why it is so big and why it is so small and i'll explain to you what i mean by why it is so big and why it's so small allah in the quran like muhammad claim that allah Uh, like an ink will never have ending. Like an ink which never has ending. Okay. If Allah words has no ending, Even the ink, if it is the water of the ocean, the words of Allah will never be ended. So how the tablet can be limited by size? As you see, there is a limitation. Even if you say from the east to the west, which is very, very funny, by the way, because the east to the west it's not the whole earth. As long as the earth is like a ball or a globe or, you know, something like that, then the horizon is so small, actually, between two parts. That is the east and the west. It's over. It's a small. And how we can make that work with the Quran in chapter 18, verse 109, where it says, say, if... If the ocean were ink, and that ink is the one who will write the word of Allah, the ocean ink will be finished before Allah finished talking. Let us see there's a Muhammadan trying to call me supposedly, and uh, we will see he is so excited. Let us give him a call. <clears throat> Hello? You want to talk like an adult, I will let you speak and people will hear you. You want to talk like a kid, I will hang up on you. Okay, why you are speaking as if you are a kid? What shish kebab? The first thing you said to me, shish kebab. Why oh, you are saying that? Because you are shish kebab. You okay. Are shish kebab. Well, let us say, let us see who is the shish kebab. Uh, do you have an answer? Do you have an answer for what you are saying? You're a Big Mac, man. You're, do, you're a pig, bro. You have uh, uh, no problem. You can say whatever you want. You can insult me, but you can't answer me. Like, this is the whole story. You're Fareed, right? Fareed answered you. Yeah, he okay, cannot, on. and you cannot. You well, are okay. You and uh, are you and the one you mentioned, you little get girls. Get okay, get okay. Shut up. So you have no answer. You are son. Of, you are son of Muta. And you're no problem. This is why you are not man enough to talk to me like a man. You are asking a boyfriend. You are mentioning your boyfriend, not you. If you are brave, bring your boyfriend with you. And then let me see how brave your boyfriend is. Don't be proud about your boyfriend. And the one is a pig is the one who go after children to have sex with them, not me. 
The one who is a pig is the one who promised you little boys in heaven who will never bleed. And they are at least, at least 80 or 70,000. The pig is the one who promised you endless penis because he have nothing to promise except penises and vagina. That is the pig. And I know I'm hurting your feeling, but I'm saying, sharing the truth. So look at this verse here. So this guy was excited to call me. And as you see, they have no answer. They are a bunch of cowards. No Muslim can answer anything. They can make videos to refute me by talking to themselves, but talking to me is no no. So if the ocean were ink, the word of Allah will never finish while the ocean ink will be exhausted and finished before Allah stop talking. So how the Muhammadan they say that Muhammad is the last prophet? Are we following? If Allah is now talking and his words never finish and the ocean will not be enough, I can print the whole Quran in less than one ounce of ink. And if you are using laser printer, you need way less. We do not need the ocean to print the Quran. So Muhammad, he lied. If Allah is talking and the ocean as ink will not be enough and the ocean will be exhausted before Allah finished talking, that means Muhammad cannot be the last prophet and Allah is still talking. Remember, Muhammad, he said this verse when he was alive, not after his death. So if Allah is the one who said that to Muhammad at the time of Muhammad, he just told him, I have a low way more words coming. So if Allah now is talking, <laughs> and we will never receive the talk, so what the point of this talk? Turn my volume up? What do you mean? Guys, my voice is not good? What do you mean my volume up? Is my voice clear or not? I don't, I don't think you're, you, know, you have a problem. This is a new microphone made by Allah. You are kidding me? Clean the walks in your ears. I don't believe you. Here you see when the Muhammadan, they say, who can make Quran like this Quran, we laugh. I mean, this book is a stupid. If this verse is a true, that means the Quran is not finished yet, and there's way more billion of pages, not millions. Any Muhammadan would like to say something to us? What is this, man? I mean, this is garbage. This is God words. How you say that Muhammad, the last prophet, and Allah keep talking? And why Allah keep talking like that? I mean, what the point of talking too much? You just say that Allah, he talk a lot. He say nothing. He talk a lot. He say nothing. How we prove it? Because we heard nothing of Allah words. All the Quran is not even the size of the index of the Bible. All your book. The index of our book is bigger than the whole book you have. And then you say that Muhammad is the last prophet. So why Allah keep talking? He's talking to whom? If there is no talk, no more. That's it. Muhammad, last prophet, that means we will receive no more talk from Allah. That's it. 
Do you see how stupid it's called? And then, you know, can you make Quran like this? And then if we study more the Quran, we will find that the ant is making Quran. Who? The ant. Have you ever heard of an ant making Quran? Yes, brother. Everything is possible with Muhammad. Not because he is God, but because he's an idiot. Who can make Quran? Nobody can make Quran. And then we check in the Quran, we will find the genie make Quran, the ant make Quran, the, the bird, the chicken make Quran. Everybody is talking in the Quran. Suleiman make Quran, Mary make Quran, Isa make Quran, Moses make Quran. Read with me and love. Allah now is talking. He is saying, till when they come to the valley of the ants, an ant said, stop. From here now on, this is the ant is talking, making Quran. The ant, she said, enter your dwelling, lest Solomon and his host crush you and you are being unaware. Allah is quoting the ant. It's not the ant quoting Allah. Allah, he is quoting the ant. And here you ask yourself, what this is, man? I mean, we have the one who created those massive galaxies. You can travel inside the space for hundred and hundred of years. God knows how, how long you can go, endless. And then you find this God, he is listening to a cute conversation. The ant, she said to other ants. We have Mr. Ali, he is saying it's a, uh, it's a miracle, Ali. Well, you call me Ali and explain to me this miracle. I don't find any miracle there. I find this is very silly and stupid. Secondly, why Suleiman? He heard only one end. This is the only one is talking in the in the in the in the in the colony. So this colony have like a billion ant, and there's only one she was talking. The rest they are not talking. She's the speaker of the house. Do you think she is the minister of defense? Any Muhammadan? So now if we say to the Muhammadan, can you make a verse like the ant made? Then we continue, we see still, this is not, Allah is not making Quran, here we go. But he smiled, so, but he smiled is the word of Allah. I can say that, I can say, but he smiled too. Laughing at its words, the, the ant she have words, Abdul, Ants are mute and deaf. Go search it right now in Prophet Google. They are mute and they are deaf. So what do you mean he laughed at her words? Are you sure it was words? He laughed at her words. Who can make wrong like this Quran? And now, we find Suleiman is talking, making Quran. Now, here Allah is talking. This huge part is Suleiman talking. So the Quran, not even 1% is made by Allah. The rest is a quotation of the ant, of Suleiman, of Isa, of Mary, of Moses. So where is the word of Allah? Hmm? We have a Muhammadan here is saying the following. My friend, why you don't call me? You're the one who is saying you have a question. Sib Sibabatuhu. I don't know your name is, is making me dizzy. I mean, some of you, you know, choose a name of a train. I thought our Arabian names is long. Now you go, the first day in the school in, in the Middle East is the most horrible day. Because each one of us, he have to stand up and say the whole name. And each one of us, his name is a name of a, like the rosary, you know? Ahmed, the son of Muhammad, the son of Ali, the son of Potato, the son of Tomato, the son of... And even the teacher is not listening. Nobody remember even what he said. 
Now next. Now listen to this guy. Mr. Sabavata Tuhu says, Everything that it's said by any other than Allah, SWT, which is really weird, is that short wave? Is done so only by the leave of Allah. What do you mean by the leave? Are you saying to me that Allah he inspired the ant to say those words? Are you saying to me that the ant is not talking, Allah is talking? I mean, have you ever heard of an explanation more silly and stupid like this? So when shaitan, he says, I'm going to deceive them, Allah is talking, not shaitan. So this Muhammad, and he tried to fix it, he make it more blind. Because now how the ant is making Quran, and how the shaitan making Quran, and how the genie making Quran, and how Mary is making Quran, and how the angel making Quran, everybody making Quran except Allah. So now he had to come to solution. So he says, everything that is said by any other than Allah, SWT, whatever, is done so only by the leave of Allah. Can you call me and explain to me what you just said? You just killed Allah. You literally just killed Allah. You did rip his testicles off his, of his bottom. You just claim right now that the whole story is a fabrication because nobody is talking there. It is not the ant is talking, it was Allah. It's not shaitan talking, it was Allah. So why Allah, he says, the ant said, if the one who is talking is Allah, Do you see the problem of the IQ of this religion? This guy, he was thinking deeply and he was digging for an answer. And he said to himself, I got it. I will tell him everything happened there. It was by the decree of Allah. But that's mean the whole story is a fabrication. So when Allah, he said, the ant said, the ant, she did not say anything according to you. You see, it says the ant said here. According to you, it's Allah who said that. This was made by the leave of Allah. The Muslims, when you speak about their ant, they switch to the Trinity. <laughs> Anything is embarrassment. They try to find a way to escape. You know that the, the Trinity is this is is the is the keyboard for them. Like let us let us run away from this horrible stupid story in the Quran. Okay, so tell us about the Trinity. Okay, I challenge you to tell me about the Trinity. Very very simple. I can answer you. God is a three and one. Can you question God why you are like that? Go. Can you question your God why he have a leg? I challenge you. Why he is Muhammad Salah? Is going to play football in England? Why Allah have five fingers? Or oh, we don't dare to question him. Why Allah have two eyes? Or oh, we don't dare to question him. Why Allah he sit in the chair? We don't dare to ask how even he sit in the chair. You are brave only to ask how come about the Trinity. With God, he is one and three in the same time. You don't like it, redesign him if you can. Here you see the hypocrisy of this garbage cult. When they want, they don't question anything about their God. It's just because this is our God. If their God, he said, Trinity is me, no Muslim will, dis will disagree. This is why you don't see any Muslim saying, how in the world do you believe that virgin Mary is a virgin? <laughs> you don't see them doing that. Why? Just because the Quran mentioned that. If it's not in the Quran, trust me, every single Muslim will be laughing at you. Hypocrites. So what we discover now, uh, that the ant is talking. The ant is making Quran. Solomon is making Quran. And what we discovered that Allah, he have no idea what he's talking about. Why? Because it says it clearly that Solomon, he laughed at her words, but ants, they don't talk. They communicate true. And they have a way of communication by vibration or by chemical. But there's no words. And remember, the one who made the Quran, who challenged me to make Quran, is a stupid. Why? I mean, look at this story. If you are watching, cartoon is even nicer. The, the Suleiman, he have an army of a chicken and a human and genie. 
in the top of that it says that Allah he taught Sulaiman the angel sorry the language of the birds so how you taught him the language of the birds and then he understand the language of the ants Even Joe Biden did not come with this. You know the thing. So Allah, he taught the guy the language of the birds, and then the guy, he walked a few meters after, and then he heard an ant talking. And what is the purpose even from this stupid conversation anyway? I mean, this is a book of God. The ant, she said to the other ant, and not only that, the Muslim, they said, you know, there's a scientific miracle here. I mean, from all this garbage, they try even to find a scientific miracle. Brother, what is, what is that? It says here in Arabic, brother, okay, what does that mean? brother, in Arabic, it's being female. That's deep. And according to science, okay, hold on. Don't talk about science. The only one who talk about science here is Dr. Zakir Naik. Written print. I'm ready for you. Uh, Zakir, first of all, you don't speak Arabic. So let the other person speak. At least maybe he speak Arabic. You don't speak Arabic. Written print. I don't speak Arabic. And I do not need to Arabic. I did read an article and I'm going to do what you yeah, Okay, go ahead. The word Khaled means female. Ah, oh, okay. And the scientists, they prove that the one who warned for attack in the end, see the female. Ooh, so the scientists they warn that the one she warned for attack is a female ant? Exactly. So tell me now how I let you this. Abdul potato. Zakir. In Arabic, we call all those insects female. We don't have a male ant in Arabic, you donkey. A single insect we call it female. Zubaba. Namla. Nahla. Dubaba is a fly, female. Nahla is a bee, female. Namla is, <laughs> we don't have a male. So the Muslim, I mean, they are so desperate to find a scientific miracle. And that's why we are laughing. Where is the Muhammadan who can tell us how stupid this book is? So you are saying to me, nobody can make Quran like the stupid Quran? Is that the point? Is that what you are saying to me? So now we found that the one who made the Quran, it was the pen. And the pen, he wrote the Quran in a tablet. And this tablet, Allah, he put it between the two eyes of an angel. His name is Israfil. And that will make the angel, I feel sorry for him, by the way. I mean, how big the face of this angel? Because if the tablet is between his eyes and the tablet size is from the east to the west, and the height of the tablet is from the earth to the sky, all of this is between his eyebrows? How big his face? Uh, I challenge you to refute Salih ad family advice. What does that mean? Anyone understand what those people are saying? Salih advice family. <laughs> what is that? Why you don't call me Fatima and tell me about Salih advice family so we laugh? <laughs> Let me give you advice. You want to have an advice? Okay. Don't follow a prophet who carry books who cannot read them. The Quran describes such a person by calling him a donkey. You, Muhammadan, you say that Muhammad is a prophet. The Quran says the likeness of those who have been loaded with the Torah is the likeness, they carry the Torah, the likeness of a donkey carrying books. So you, Muhammadan, you say that our prophet is illiterate.
And then one day, he said to the Jews, give me the Torah. He carried the Torah, he cannot read the Torah, and yet he says, I believe in you and the one who sent thee. That is exactly what donkey does. How you say, I believe in thee, and you cannot read what is in thee. Any Muslim can tell me? The Torah is in Hebrew. Those stories the Muhammadan they make, it's not valid. Go right now and search when the first time the Jews they have a Torah in Arabic translation. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to tell us how you follow a prophet who can carry a books but he cannot read them? Anyone? How we can follow a prophet who cannot read a book, including his own book? Anyone? Any Muhammadan? Anyone? Anyone? Just imagine. Khabib? Who is Khabib? Is that the fighter, the one who is showing his belly bomb? Don't you know that this guy will go to hell for doing that? Whoever became a Muslim because of Khabib, he is a perverted like Khabib. Because according to your religion, the one who show his belly bum and he show something above the knee, he is going to go to hell. So your Khabib, according to Islam, is going to go to hell. <laughs> Do you want me to show you a reference? So you will laugh. And I open the pictures for this guy. You will see how naked he is. Potatoes. So now, now Habib is the one who make people convert to Islam. Why he is an expert in the Quran just because he shows belly bomb? Well, those if if somebody convert to Islam because of that, I know you. There's a woman. This guy, a prophet, prophet, he interviewed her. Obviously, she have mental illness. How a woman she convert to Islam because she saw how Habib fight? That that means she have mental illness, my friend. That is not a person who have a brain to say so. Oh. Let us see if we can show you some reference, just for fun. Even this is not our topic, just, just for fun. What a stupid cult. They could not debate me, they tell me Khabib. Khabib obviously is not a Muslim. If he is, he will follow the teaching of his prophet. Obviously he don't care. And the Quran says that what he is doing is lahu al kalam, lahu, you know. It is against Allah teaching. Uh... 
<clears throat> I have the reference actually here in Arabic, but we need to find it in English. Let us see. Do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Let us see. Okay. So guys, tomorrow I will be early morning. Um, let me see what time exactly. Okay. I'm just trying to find out what time exactly. Give me a minute. <laughs> Okay, so tomorrow, let us see here. Man, I will, I have to be here very early in the morning. So tomorrow look like I will be live by 5 a.m., 5, 5.30. That will not be easy, you know, because I don't sleep early really. So I will not be able to sleep good, but what we can do. So tomorrow I will be here around 5, uh, sorry, around the 6, uh, 6, uh, 6, 30, 6, 30, not, hold on. Uh, okay, I will, I will be 7, 7 a.m., 7 a.m. in the morning. New York time. But I will go live before that. But around that time, we will have a nice uh, fun for you. Get ready. All right. So it's going to be, I will be tomorrow live on air, let's say, or maybe I will start live 6.30 a.m. And New York time. So adjust your timing for that. I don't know what is going to be for you. And we will go from there. Yeah, but I will be before, you know, I will start the broadcast or I will, I will set up right now, the, right away, I will set up the time for tomorrow. So you guys, you can join from now, preparing for it. And it looks like it's going to be something hot, very hot. Just get ready. All right. Oh. Uh... You know, Fatima, all those you are mentioning their names, I can mention to you the names of those who left Islam. Do you want me to mention to you from the campaign of Muhammad? Do you know that even the wife of your prophet left, left Muhammad and she left Islam? <laughs> even the wife of Muhammad, she left Islam. Do you know that? Do you know even the uncle of Muhammad refused to join Islam? The one who Muhammad grew in his house. Muhammad... He keeps saying to him, just say shahada, say shahada. And the guy, he said to him, get lost. And this is the uncle of Muhammad, who Muhammad grew in his house. We are laughing at you and whoever you claim that they converted to Islam. As you see, 
you have nothing to say except this guy convert, this guy convert. I can show you from Al Jazeera TV. 16,000 Muslim leave Islam a day. A day, not a year. Tomorrow we will be very early in the morning. Live, we might have a very exclusive debate with a bunch of mullahs. So get ready. A mascara is going to happen if they show up. We will see if they will show up or not. All right? They promise they will be there. And we, you see, it is very early for me, but I did not say no to the timing. It's okay. Do we have any Mohammedan would like? To call us. Anyone? It's not important where they are from. Don't ask silly questions. Do we have any Mohammedan would like to call us? A massacre, yeah, a massacre. You will watch Super Board? I never watch such a silly thing. Don't be offended by what I said. For me, this is very silly game, and all games are very silly. Football, even fighting games are silly. Because those are not sport no more. This is business, commercial, and the fool, they spend their money over something, nothing but commercial. There's no sport. Sport is something done for the sake of sport. None of the sport exists in this earth today is a sport. People, they do it as a profession. And they make millions of dollars from it. So what is the sport? Do we have any Muhammadan here there to tell, call us and tell us how silly the challenge of making Quran like the Quran? Anyone? You know, Fatima, if I play for you a short video, you will start crying. Do you want me to play for you a video? You keep talking about converting, converting. Honestly, if I play it for you, you will say, oh no, don't show us that. It doesn't say that, CP. You will cry. Research has shown that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single Watch this and laugh. This is your friends, the Muhammadan Abduls, the sheikhs you are always saying that they are the one who can refute us, yet, but yet never show up because they are potatoes. They are crying out for people leaving Islam left and right. Research has shown that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. Our youth are full of doubts. And that is Muslim youth leaving Islam. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Child is about to become apostate. But if they apostate, you're you 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 become apostate. You're you trying to become apostate. Well, they will become apostate when you go around and you say to Muslim women, show me your tits. Shame on you. We will, will become apostate. Hey, Fatima, are you watching? Those who are Muslim crying, do you know how many Muslims leave Islam here in my channel every day? Every day. How many percent of youth are in... 24% of the Muslim youth. This is the quarter of the Muslim population around the world leaving Islam. Who said that? Your Sheikh. Watch him. Watch, he's crying. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Fatima, are you included or you are not? Just to be sure. Are you included? How does it become a prostate? Your child is about to become apostate. In America, this is the last thing. 23% are becoming apostates. In America, in America, 23% they become apostate, okay?
He fought him. Are you there? Are you? In the, in the Malika, 23% of the king of Tate. Are you going to say to me that I'm lying now? I want people to be not to be stupid and not to say things they should not say. Stupid people. We mentioned tomorrow we will be live and that's it. Don't ask, we will debate who. Don't be stupid. Are you interested of a debate or interested of who? Act like adult. Be smart. Muslims, American Muslims. Well, one of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18. Even he has given us the names, man. This is only between 13 and 18. What about the rest? What about the rest? I mean, all of those are crying about what will happen. Look at this. I mean, look at this guy. And look at this guy. But it's going to be avalanche. The that up to 5%. Huh? Let us jump to this guy here. Huh, here we go. I don't believe in Allah. No way. They said that. I don't believe that Muhammad. Why, why those Muslims, they are saying to their parents, we don't believe Muhammad is a messenger. Look at this. First, Muhammad, he have lies. Secondly, he have a special appetite for children at the age of six. Number three, he is very educated to the point you do not know how to write, how to read. Number four, he have zero miracle. Number five, he can sleep with all his wives without taking a shower. Number six, he is the only one who jumped with dead dogs and women blood from period and stinky garbage to take a shower. And you are telling me they did not believe he's a prophet? What's wrong with them? Was a messenger of Allah. I don't believe that the Quran is a book of revelation. No way. No way, my friend. No way they will say that. We just showed you how the ant she is making Quran. We just showed you how a Muslim, he told me that Allah, he revealed to the end to say what she said. And those Muslims, they say they don't believe that the Quran is a book of revelation. If the Quran is not the book of revelation, so what is the revelation ever exist? Revelation. Her name is Olga from Russia. You know what? If Olga and Russia, he go in competition with Muhammad, she will have revelation better than your revelation. Vladimir Putin, he have better revelation than your revelation. Revelation? Where is the revelation in the revelation? We just found that the one who wrote the Quran is the pen. It's not even Allah. I never heard of a God. He created the pen and he taught the pen to write everything. And then we find that the pen is the one who wrote the Quran and the one who wrote everything. So what Allah exactly he said? Any Muhammadan? Do we have any brave Muslim? All right, guys, I just wanted to have some good time with you to show you how silly, how stupid this book, they call it Quran. I will create uh, the occasion for tomorrow. So please join us uh, early morning tomorrow in my time early morning, in your time, God knows what it is. However, remember the Quran. I don't know if you will try to set up your time by the Quran, you will get dizzy. Because according to the Quran, there's only two east and there's two east and two west. So I don't know which east you are in. Hmm? Have you ever heard of a guy like this? How he knew this? How he knew that? There's two east and two west? Like what the heck? Only genius he can come with this. Muhammad, he could not figure out how the sun. 
location change during season, so he claimed there is two east and two west. Nobody can make Quran like Allah. Nobody. Hold on, we have a Muslim. I don't know what he want to say. Let us see this Muhammadan. Let us take him and see. We will call him. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, I hear you. I will come. Are you watching our live streaming? Yes, I was watching. All right. So what do you think about what we said? You know, when, when Allah, he made the challenge, nobody can make Quran like a Quran. And then we find the ant making Quran. So the man making Quran. Isa making Quran. What do you think? Uh, well, I would say that it's Allah himself who have revealed these verses, of course, mm -hmm. as you know. And... Do you believe that uh, if the ant is speaking in that voice, it means that the ant have created that voice? Do you believe in that? Do you believe in what you're well, saying? This is a question. Saying, this is a question will goes for you because when the ant she is talking, did she say that or it's not the ant who said that? No, I just wanted to know that if uh, if Allah is quoting the ant, do you believe that the ant have created that voice? Do you also believe in that? Or you're just showing to the people. So when you say okay. that the ant she said those words, she did not create those words. Now I'm asking you firstly because if you well, are thinking that if the ant is not saying those words, why Allah is saying the ant she said those words? Did she say or not? See, I'm not saying that the ant did not say. I'm just saying. Okay. If a person so who, who quotes, is the one who made those words? When the ant she said those words, who is the one behind them? Who is the one who made them? If you are making words and I'm quoting you, yeah, of course I'm quoting your words. Okay. But who is speaking? Am I speaking or are you speaking? I am the speaking. If you are quoting me, in the moment you are quoting me, this is my word, so I am the one who is speaking. It is your words, but who is speaking? Am I not speaking? Am my I friend, not quoting if your you words? repeat what I say, it doesn't make it your word. And she said that, right? So, and then... See, I'm not, and, you're missing the point. I did not say that it's my words. I'm saying it's your words. Okay. But I'm quoting it to who is speaking. All right. So did Allah, did Allah, are you saying to me that Allah, he copied from the ant Quran and he put it in his Quran? No, that's, that's what I'm not saying. That's what I just wanted to know from you. Are you saying that when Allah is quoting and he is mentioning something, that means that the ant created that word? Is that what you want to say? Absolutely. Because the ant is talking. Is, is it Allah word or the ant word? You said to me, it's the ant word, right? As I said, uh, that the ant have spoke, so Allah is quoting. Okay, so who is the one who said those words? Who is the source of the words? Is the ant, correct? Okay. Okay, now Allah, he take exactly what the ant she said, word by word, letter by letter, and he put it in the Quran. And then he says to us, can you make Quran like this? But this is what the ant she said, not him. See, what I'm explaining is, Allah have quoted, what people have been saying, like the prophet, what he have been saying, what uh, as Luqman have been saying, and many people. So it doesn't make them creating the Quran. It makes that God is just quoting what they are saying. You see what I'm saying? When you say that I this mean, is when the okay. Bible. Okay. When you say, you see, when I say the Bible is the book of God, we don't say mm -hmm. that every word there is God talking. No, Satan is talking. The enemy of Jesus talking. The court judge is talking, the rabbi is talking. So when we say the word of God, because God, he sent messages to those people, but people themselves, they spoke in that book in return. You Muslims, you have different story. You claim that this is a pure book from Allah. And every word is in the Quran, is from the mouth of Allah. And then we find that the one who is making Quran, as you see the ant, sometimes it's the chicken, sometimes it's Satan, sometimes it's Mary, sometimes it's Jibreel. Sometimes it's Isa, sometimes it's Solomon, sometimes it's David, sometimes it's whoever. It's God who's quoting them. No problem. But when you quote them, this is not your Quran no more. Because I'm quoting you. If I quote you, I cannot claim that this is my words no more. Because I'm quoting you. You just admitted that this is the quotation of the end. 
And now, what kind of God? Now, there's a topic here, because if no, I'll... that's not a different topic. No, no, no. Actually, no. I'm not saying. I'm not saying different. I'm not. I'm not saying different topic. I'm saying this is a different problem, because if Allah, He is saying what, uh, 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 what uh, the ant she said. And now you mentioned, did the ant speak in Arabic? I will give you this question. Did the ant speak speak in Arabic to Solomon? That's what I'm saying. It did not speak in Arabic. So what she, spe what she spoke? Whatever. Well, there's a language that's called whatever. Whatever spoke. Okay. Whatever so the ant, spoke. we assume that the ant, she no. spoke the language of the ants. Do you agree with me? Yes. Okay. So now Allah is quoting the ant, and he is translating what the ant she said. Okay. Okay. A translator, he cannot own the words at all. He is just a translator. So if I translate what the ant she said, now you made your God in more trouble now. We were just in the beginning with the ant talking and Allah is quoting. Now we have Allah not only quoting, he is translating. So Allah, he could not tell us what the ant is saying in the language of the ant because of his limitations. So he have to translate to Arabic. And now we ask you the same question as long the ant she don't speak Arabic. When Allah he taught Sulaiman the language of the birds, as we see in the Quran, it says here in verse number 16, I am assuming you know Arabic, it says, Ulimna tayr. We've been taught the language of the birds. So how Allah he taught him the language of the birds, and then Sulaiman he understand the language of the ants. Go ahead. Okay, so let's say that a person, uh, let's say Shakespeare, he knows more than one language. He knows English and he knows Japanese. Okay. So when he when he goes to Japan, one of his friends, uh, one of his friends in Japan, tells him something. Mm. So he comes back to any English country like the U.S. and then he tells the people what his friend said, but okay. he doesn't say in the exact. Uh, like he doesn't translate it exactly. He just say what his friend wanted to say, but he wouldn't say exactly a translation. He would say in his language, and we know how Shakespeare speaks. Mm. He speaks in great language. So the challenge is not, uh, the Quran doesn't challenge anyone to uh, translate or something. It challenges to, uh, to bring a verse or a uh, uh, to bring a chapter like the Quran, like the Arabic, the eloquence and the so okay. Language so now you are saying the Arabic, the Arabic, right? Can you make Arabic like it, right? Like yeah, exactly. Okay. Like the chapter. Is it this true? Is, what... is it true that your prophet he received satanic verses in Arabic, and Muhammad he did not even notice? What do you mean? What do you mean? The Quran says that Allah he will delete what Shaitan throw in the mouth of Muhammad, correct? What was that? He the, will delete? The Quran says that Allah, he will delete the words of shaitan which he gave to Muhammad, which he gave him in Arabic. And your prophet did not notice that shaitan gave him satanic verses. So you said to me, oh Allah, he was translating what the ant said, and that will make him the best of the translator, which is very funny. And then you said to me, it doesn't mean he said word by word, so he's a liar because a translator, he should not add words, he should not take words, he should say it as it is. The top of that yeah, now... A translate, yeah, a translator cannot uh, take words and cannot add words. Exactly, so the ant, she is the one who said the Quran then, the ant is the one who made the Quran. And now no we have a, a and now we have bigger problem. Now when you mentioned to me the Arabic, here we go, Shaitan himself, he gave Muhammad satanic verses in Arabic. And Muhammad did not notice. And then the angel Jibreel, according to your Muslim stories, he went to the house of Muhammad at the end of the day, or a days after, and he said to him, Habibi Muhammad, what you did? He said, what? He said, don't you know that those verses from Shaitan? And Allah, he made a verse saying, don't worry. Is that? This is a chapter 22, verse number 52. Okay. So how Shaitan, he made Quran. And Muhammad did not notice that this is not Quran. If nobody can make Quran. Where does it say that the, uh, the shaitan have made a Quran? It says in front of you, chapter 22, verse number 52, Allah will cancel what shaitan throw in the mouth of Muhammad. He throw it in his mouth. 
Who said that whatever is in, in the mouth of Muhammad is a Quran? Allah will cancel from the Quran. It says here, Allah will cancel it. Allah yansakh, yansakh in the Quran. Allah will cancel whatever Quran is throw, whatever shaitan he throw in the mouth of Muhammad. What he throw, he throw Quran. He was praying, reciting the chapter of an najm And then when he arrived, he said that Allah and Al-Uzza and Manad, the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must. So he was reciting Quran. And between that Quran, he inserted Quran from shaitan. And this is why Allah now have a problem. He need to take off the satanic verses from the Quran. Uh, verse number 53 or 52? 52. 52. But it doesn't say that the Quran have made, a, uh, the, the, the shaitan have made a Quran. My, Where friend, does it say my that? friend, you speak Arabic. I can show you the interpretation. Do you want to read it? No, I can't speak Arabic. I just understand a little okay. bit. Okay. Now, so now we find that Shaitan, he made Quran. Let us move. What about the Quran copy from Umar ibn Khattab? Is it true that Allah, he copied Quran from Umar? But that's a different topic. You were no, it's about the same the because nobody can make Quran. Something. You when you, the when the Quran, no, when the Quran, you see, you cannot answer that one. This is why I'm moving. When the Quran says nobody can make Quran, save Allah, then we find that Allah is copying his Quran from Umar. So Umar, he says, some Muslim Sunni, they say that even 10, uh, uh, 10 orders of Allah, they are taken from Umar. Some hadith says the three things, but they are major things in Islam. As an example, Umar, he says, Wafaqani Rabbi or Wafaqtu Rabbi. Allah agreed with me or I agreed with Allah in three things. What is that? And then he says that uh, the hijab, women, they wear hijab today because of Umar. This is a verse made by Umar. Can you believe it? Can you believe no, the it? The verse is not made by Umar. The verse is not created by Umar. No, Umar it's created. It's a created. Given, uh, no, a it's a, it is a created by Umar. And actually, even he say the verse is revealed as I said, as I said. He did not say the verse has just revealed. The verses revealed, as you see, I'm showing you the hadith in the screen, all of those, and they are sahih. So the verses revealed, as I said, Allah is so taking... Are you, are, you, are you trying to show me some contradictions, is it? I'm not showing you a contradiction because the Quran, all of it is a contradiction. How the Quran now says nobody can make Quran like the Quran of Allah, and then we find that Allah is taking Quran from Umar. Then uh, you have a problem, of course, by books which have got contradictions, then why are you not an atheist? So now because you are going Bible to switch to atheism. You know, my, my friend, we can talk about atheism. Your prophet himself is an atheist too, because the Quran says that Muhammad, he never had faith and he never had the scriptures. But now you are trying to change the topic. Read with me here in the screen. It says that the verse is the same as I say, they were revealed. And this is Umar al-Khattab saying those verses. The same as I said, the same, the same, the verses, the same as I had said I was revealed. Bukhari, hadith number 402. So now we have a thief. Yeah, I've read that in the past. Okay, so now how Allah, he says, nobody can make Quran like Allah. Who is the one who said this verse first, Umar or Allah? Umar have thought about it. Of course, what Allah do you mean have thought? He is the one who said it as it is. It says he, he. Allah, he took it as it is. Obviously, Muhammad, he heard what uh, uh, Umar, he said. He took it, he, he, make, he claimed this is Quran. This is what you're thinking, right? I am not so saying that. It's not in front of atheist? you. Who is the one who said the sentences first? Umar, correct? No, before that, Allah have already written that. What do you mean, Allah, written? What do you mean Allah written that? Because the verses came after Umar, he said that. The verses came afterwards, but Allah have already thought about it in the Allah, past. Allah, he thought, prove it. Why Allah did not thought about it until Umar, he said that. As I said, like you, you have showed the hadith of the pen, right? Do you have a proof Everything that Allah, he written. thought about it before Umar, he said it? Yes. Show me. Uh, remove the, uh, where is that hadith which you showed? Uh, this is in Sahih al Bukhari, you, hadith number 402. No. The hadith which you, which you showed uh, half an hour ago, like of the pen. Yeah. Okay. Go to the people. Let us go to the pen. What about the pen? Tell me about it. 
Okay. Where's the hadith? Show it to the people. There's many hadith. Which one do you want? The, the one you showed of the pen. Okay, I will show you. No problem. Here we go. So now Allah, he created the pen. And he told him to write everything. I don't know why you are a Christian, by the way. Yeah, you should have been an atheist. Well, uh, Allah, he says that we, the Christians, are victorious until the day of judgment. This is a verse in the Quran. Obviously, you do not know your book. So your God, he created the pen. Do you, and, do you believe in the Quran? Don't We don't believe in the Quran. We are laughing at it. Don't you notice? Then why do you believe in that verse? I don't believe in it. I'm showing you how we strip the Quran. Who said I believe in it? Okay, so the Christians are victorious and the don't the change the topic now. Don't change the topic. So that's, Allah, that's stupid. so Allah, He created the pen and He told the pen write. Shouldn't Allah, shouldn't Allah tell the pen what to write? Yes. What? Where He told him to write uh, the details? Show me. The first thing God created was a pen. He what? told. It. Why He created the pen? Why first thing He created the pen? Do you do you ask your God anything? You no, know, I'm asking you. What is the logic to create the pen? What is the logic of God becoming a baby? Because God, He want to come to us as a, in the flesh of a man, come on. so we can see Him. You cannot question God, God as you, said. Humbled, the you Bible, said. a few minutes the ago, Bible, you cannot question the God. Bible, I'm not questioning. I'm not questioning. I'm asking you what the purpose. This is God. He do not need a pen, isn't it? Allah is God. He say be is going to be. Okay, so God so, needs so, a baby. No, He do not. Who so said? Who said? Who said? Them. No, He do not need. No, there's no need in the in the Bible. There's nothing about need. For God, He loved the world. He sent His only begotten Son. He loved the world, not because He need the world. So now we have a God. Does, does He need that? In order, does he need that? No, He do not. He do does, not. He do not need you. He do not need me. He created he... us. So you are making things up now. Don't change the topic. I'm asking you, why Allah need a pen if He is the one who can say be is going to be? You cannot question God. Okay, so we can't question God, but can we question what the pen do? Go ahead, tell me what the pen do. Yes. Okay. The first thing we God created was the pen. He told it to write, and when it asked him what it should write, he told it to write what was decreed. Mm. So it wrote what had taken place and what would take place to all eternity. Okay. So now I want you so, to I want you to confirm no, that Allah, the first thing He created was the pen. Correct. Okay. Okay. So when Allah created the pen, He have no throne. What do you mean? Throne, throne, the throne of Allah created before the pen or after the pen? Now that's a different subject. Why do you keep changing the topic? We are not changing the topic because we want to show you if Muhammad is a truthful. Muhammad, he said in different hadith that the first thing Allah, before Allah created anything, <laughs> before the throne Allah was in water, that's a different, listen, that's a different listen, hadith. No, this is, so what if different hadith? Is it different prophet? Different is it, hadith. Is it, why, is it different prophet? You keep telling the people why you change the is topic. Is it different and religion? We are not changing because now we are trying to find out which, what is the first thing Allah created. Is it the pen or the what, throne? Okay, what, what do you think about the um, contradictions of the Bible? My friend, don't change the topic. What is the first you thing Allah the created? And you tell what me is the first the thing Allah created? Is the pen or the throne? No, why do you keep changing the topic? It is you this who is changing because you insist I asked you. Do you really believe that Allah, the first thing he created is the pen? You confirm, you said yes. Okay, wonderful. So how Muhammad, he's making such a mistake because this is how we discover a false prophet. You told me to they, prove that they Allah before Yes, Omar. you know, my friend, we are here. We are here to get your prophet busted. You know that. So when your prophet says in different I'm story, your Bible. before Listen, Allah created you anything, gave me a chance to my speak friend, about your Bible. when Allah, he created the throne, I'm asking you, before the pen or after the pen? That's a different topic. I'm not going to talk. You, you firstly who said... Who cares what different topic? What do you mean different topic? What? Who cares? What do you mean by who cares? If nobody cares, then let's speak about the Bible if you have God. We, we are talking about your prophet making up stories. Have God, because it cannot be both. It cannot be both. It cannot be both. You are and the one. Our topic is not the Bible. Same time, if I talk about the Bible, we'll get you busted in two seconds. The Quran says, confirm what they have between their hands. No, you don't quote the... What will you do with an atheist? You keep quoting the Quran. Are you an atheist? You an atheist? Are you an atheist? No, I'm not an atheist. So I'm why, a Muslim, so what, what, so why, why you are... Why do you keep am, running from your... If I am talking an atheist, I will talk to a person who believes in a monkey. Then I will bring a banana. So now I'm talking to you and you are a Muslim. So don't switch to an atheist mood now. I'm asking you, why you're a prophet, he lie. One hadith he says, 
that the first thing he created is the pen. And then we find, no, before that, Allah, he created the throne. Where does it say that the first thing was created was the throne? Read it. It's in the front of you. Uh, Abdullah ibn Umar reported God's messenger saying God recorded the fates of all creatures 50,000 years before creating the heavens and the earth and his throne was upon the water. Where, where does it say that the throne was? So the which first one thing? was first? Doesn't that hadith say that the first thing was pen? No. Why do you keep changing? No, no. It says Allah, he wrote all the fate of the creator 50 years before his creation and his throne was upon the water. Okay. Let me show you more. Just to show you how this man Muhammad is crazy. There is different verses speaking about the throne of Allah. Here we Where go. Where does it say that the throne? Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh <laughs> they ask Muhammad, read carefully. I said, O Messenger of Allah, where was our Lord before he created his creation? He said, he was above the cloud, below which was air, and above which was air where and water, and he created his throne above the water. Okay. What do you mean, okay? You say what does it where you, does it you, say that the throne was before the pen or the they are asking him before, before he created it? anything before he created anything before read, said, oh, read carefully read carefully it says Lord, read carefully before he created his creation uh -huh, he his creation was, is the is the pen of his creation just a minute let me complete he hmm. said he was above the clouds hmm. before which was air and above which was air and water then he created his throne above the water above the water mm -hmm. Okay. So? So what's was, the conclusion? What the conclusion? Muhammad is a fraud because he said in different story, the first thing Allah created was the pen. Now we find that before he created the pen or anything else, there was water and there was a throne above him and underneath of him water and there is air. So he did lie when he said the first thing he created, it was the pen. And this is how we discover a false prophet. He cannot maintain his story twice. The creation of Allah is anything he created, correct? Anything. Okay. Is the water from the creation of Allah? Yes. Is the air from the creation of Allah? Yes. Is the throne is the, from the creation of Allah? The throne. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So why Muhammad lie in different hadith says the first thing he created the pen when before the pen is exist as you see before any creation. And here actually this story here bring more questions about the lies of Muhammad because if Muhammad saying before he created his creation there was water and air that's mean the water and the air are not his creation. Because the question is where was he before he created his creation? He said he was above the cloud, below which was air, and above which was air, and what water. What I'm not understanding is why why you keep changing the topic. We are not changing the topic. You said you you wanted to speak about the the challenge of the Quran. We just showed you the Quran is copied from Umar al Khattab. The Quran is copying even from the genie. There's a chapter in the Quran called the Jinn. All the chapter the genie are talking. No, not the whole chapter. Okay, hold on. Let us see. Not the whole chapter. So how much of it? Yeah, there are a few verses in which Allah is quoting what the jinns have told. Are you sure? It's a few, are you sure it's a few words? 100%, yes. Of course. Okay. Come on. Let us see. Let us go to the... Guys, he is sure. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. How, how many words? Of course, I did not count it, but it's not the whole chapter. 100%. Okay, so uh, I mean, okay, give me an let's, estimate. Let the is people. It, how how man, how how like what is the percentage of the genie speaking in the chapter? I did not count it, as I said, but it's not hundred. It's not fully completed. Oh, uh, not fully completed. Sure. Uh, most of it. Okay, here we go. This is the Quran. This is the chapter of the genie, right? 
Go ahead. From the beginning, it Go says ahead. the genie they said. The genie yeah. they said. This is the genie. 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 The genie they said. The genie they said. The genie are talking. They keep talking. Genie, come on, stop talking. The genie are talking. The genie are more talking. Genie are talking again. The genie never stop. The genie keep talking and talking and talking. Where is Allah talking? Where? It's Show in the front of you. Go, okay, open verse the verse number seven. Open chapter verse number seven. What? Go ahead. Verse number seven. Verse number seven. Okay, go ahead. What does it say? Why you keep swiping down? Who is the go one on. is talking? Verse number seven. Go to verse number seven. Who is the one is talking? Read it from verse number one. Read it from verse number one. Allah says to Muhammad, say, it revealed into me the company of the jinn. Okay, what happened there? They said, who is who they said? The genie. The genie are talking. The what genie are talking. What does number seven say? The genie are talking. Who is talking? Who is the one is talking? Who is the one is talking? The jinn. Okay, but so the, so Allah did not make Quran. The genie are talking. <laughs> no, Allah is quoting. You don't understand. Again, what the so you of see, quoting. you see the joke. So if Allah is quoting the holy chapter, He is quoting somebody else. How He say to us, nobody can make Quran like the Quran, because this is in Arabic. Don't tell me in Arabic because this is Muhammad. He was speaking to them, and they were listening in Arabic. So the game of Arabic doesn't work here, because they were listening to Muhammad. And even they did ride Muhammad in his back. So Muhammad, he claimed that he went and he met a group of the genie and they start riding him and then he recite Quran for them. And then the, Quran, the genie, they said that to him. And then Allah is giving us, or Muhammad is giving us what Allah, he narrated to him to tell the people about what the genie did, what the genie said, right? And you are the one who agreed. That Allah is quoting the genie. So the whole conversation was in Arabic from the beginning to the end. So Allah is just quoting what the Quran has said. Allah is quoting what the genie says in Arabic. Allah is quoting what the genie says You said that the whole chapter the genie is speaking. That's it a lie is. Read again. it. Read it. Here we go. Lying. Here we go. Read it. Read it. Let's read verse number 20. Go ahead. Okay. Go to verse number go 20. Verse number okay. 20. What, what it says number 20? Say, O oh Muhammad, I only invoke my Lord and do not associate with him anyone. Who, who is speaking? Who is saying that? I don't know. You tell me. Who is saying that? Allah? Allah. Allah saying oh, that? Yes. Who okay. Else? And here it says, in the, before, before of us, and the place of worship are only for Allah. So pray not to anyone along with Allah. This is the message from the genie to the genie speaking to each other. And here they are what they said to Muhammad. When Abdullah Muhammad, he stand up to pray, they did this to him, almost stiff-fitting. Uh, stiff they crowded on him. Those are the genie. So Allah now here in this verse, in verse number 19, describing supposedly what the genie did. So now you are saying to me, there's one verse in the chapter made by Allah or two. The holy chapter is the genie no, is talking. One, two. How many? No, no, no. How two. many? How many? More than one, two, more than three. Okay, more than three, guys, more than three. But the chapter is 28 verses. The genie are talking. You said not even a single. Well, what's what in do your, you think about the contradictions what's in your, about the Bible? You said, you, you said, you said, you said Allah is translating. Now those are the genies speaking to Muhammad. Muhammad is speaking to them in Arabic. Do Muhammad speak the language of the genie? Okay, so there are contradictions in the Quran and you don't want to believe in it. What do you think about the Bible's contradictions? That will be easy to refute because if you believe that there is a contradiction in the Bible, that means your prophet is a fraud. Why? Because he said, I believe in thee and the one who said thee. Don't quote it. Why just not? Tell, just no, can't, I, I, can't have, you, I have to can't quote. You save, I have no, to quote. You, I have to quote your prophet. Can't you defend prophet. your Bible from the Bible? Are you ashamed? You your Bible? Are you ashamed? Are you ashamed of your of Bible? Your prophet? Are you no, ashamed? no, I'm proving to you that you are a liar and this is not a true because if that the contradiction in the Bible is exist and Muhammad, he swear by the Bible, that's mean Muhammad is a fraud. Are you saying to me that Muhammad is a fraud? If you agree Muhammad is a fraud, I will say to you, okay, go me and show me the contradiction. Okay, if you went ahead and told me that you cannot defend 
your Bible from I never your Bible. Say it. I do not even need to defend. Then I, ju I go just, ahead and I defend just, it from the Quran. I just hire a guy, his name is Muhammad, to show you and expose you that you are running away from a funny, stupid Quran made by a bunch of ants and genie and Abdul. So now we have a prophet. He take the Torah and the Bible. He says, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. Did your prophet took false oath, swearing in my book when he don't believe in it? No, just let me know if you if you cannot defend the Bible from the Bible. Then Can go you ahead defend, and defend your prophet God. taking false oath then? Because if I go with you, if you are right that my book is wrong, and then your God Muhammad says, I believe in thee. Well, first you have to agree. So I have to, to I have to this. agree with you that Muhammad is a fraud. Do you agree with me that Muhammad is a fraud? Because if the Bible is wrong. And then Muhammad, he says, I believe in thee, and the one, him who sent thee, that is a double harassment to Allah. Because now okay. he just announced that the Bible is absolutely true, and he announced that everything there, it's, it's in the front of you. He said, I believe in thee. He, 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 put, he carried the, the, the Torah in his hand, he holding it. I believed in thee and in him who revealed thee, yes. Yeah, so Muhammad, he believed in my book, believe but you are saying, my book is full of contradiction. The, it doesn't say Bible. Where does it say Bible? Do you know what the Bible is? Yes. What Bible is? Do you, do you mean Matthew, Mark is Torah? Uh, is okay. that what you're saying? Here he, hold, he, saying? here he hold the Torah. Okay, where does it... Okay, do you, mean, do you mean the first epistle of John and that all is Torah? He hold the Torah. No, he hold the Torah. According, so are, according so, to okay, you... For, step by step, you, step by step, Genesis, step by step. So do you agree with Muhammad that the Torah is perfect? The Torah which was revealed to Musa, yes, it was perfect. No, the Torah he holds in his hand now. Because you Muslim, you play games when you talk. He have a Torah in his hand, exact 600 no, years the... after Jesus. He holds it in his hand and he said, I believe in thee. Do you agree with him that this is a perfect Torah? The Torah is absolutely perfect which was revealed to musa this is what between I, his hand i'm asking you about what was between your prophet hand don't play games be come on be, speak like an adult he hold the hand he hold the torah by by his hand and he said i believe in thee do you agree with him that he was right or wrong to say so he was absolutely right okay so the torah in the time of muhammad was absolutely right correct the Torah which he carried in his hand and he exactly. said, I believe. So it. if we go in the Quran, we will find that the Torah he carried between his hand, it says that the Jews believe in a guy, his name is Uzair, and he is the son of Allah. So how a prophet in one hand, he swear in the book. It doesn't say that the Bible mentioned it. It doesn't say that it the, says Torah the Torah mentioned. It says the Torah. And this is what the Jews, here we go. Chapter 9, go. verse number 30 yep. says, chapter 9, verse number 30 says, and the Jews say Uzair is the son of Allah. And so you're a prophet. Say, you're a prophet is a person believe that Allah have a son and he is his name is Uzair. That's why I don't answer your question because you keep jumping. I'm not why, jumping. Why can't I'm showing you, you how it's stupid. You, I'm showing you how it's stupid, how hypocrite you're a prophet. In the same time, when you mention to me that it's what move, about, what about move the because Muslim you have no answer, obviously. Your Quran confirm my Bible, in this case, the Injil. And this is, by the way, proving that Muhammad is a fraud. A because Hold on. There we go. This is the Quran saying, Allah, he confirmed what we have between our hands. Did Allah lie when he says... Think about the words which is displayed. I am Don't showing you. Jumping. I'm showing you the verses. Here we go. And Allah, yeah. he come to them confirming what is in their position. What is in their position? Don't keep jumping. Okay, let's go back there. No problem. Tell me about it. Okay. Hmm. Now, after I answer this question, are you going to answer the question? Uh, I am answering question? everything you say. No, this is only according to you. No, I'm according, gonna according to me, the best way to answer Abdul is to ask to answer him from his Abdul book. Why I want to waste my time explaining to you what you will not accept anyway. So when I get you busted from your book, that is the final boxing. So here, Allah, yeah, he says the Jews. Allah, he says the Jews, Allah, he says the Jews call Uzair son of Allah. Tell us about it. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to answer this. Hmm. But if after this, you doesn't, you don't answer my question, then I am answering all your I questions. You, you did not mention anything to me. I did not answer you. Stop complaining. Do you accept that you're a hypocrite? Stop complaining. You... The hypocrite is the one who told people not to pray, not to piss in the direction of the Kaaba. And then he pissed in the direction of Kaaba, as your prophet did. 
He told them not to turn your ass to the Kaaba, and he did. He told them not to approach women when they have their period, and he did. He told them to be decent with your wife, and he cheated his wife. He told them not to lie, and then he lied. He told them to keep their oath, and then we find that he broke his oath. And Allah sent him a message says, why you want to keep your oath? It's okay. So don't talk about hypocrite. It is you who is a hypocrite. Chapter 3, verse 28, it says, speak to the Christians and use taqiyya. Speak to them in a friendly way, but your heart is like that. And you are talking about hypocrite. You are graduated from the hypocrite school. And the professor name there, the dean of the hypocrite, the, the dean of the hypocrite school, his name is Muhammad. Now go back to the topic. Uzair is the son of Allah. What did if Allah, I slapped you? Did what Allah did you made, do? Did Allah made, someone slapped you. Did Allah made a mistake? No. Okay, explain I'm to us how, this. Explain to me how okay. Uzair became the son of Allah and Muhammad, he swear by the book of Uzair, the son of Allah. Okay, I'm going to answer this, but if you don't answer the, the, Stop the people... Stop complaining, my okay. friend. Stop complaining. No, shut up. You said, you, don't you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you said to me you don't speak Arabic. So what? Why are you reading in Arabic now? Are you lying? You, you were a hypocrite lying to me? So do you mean a person who can't speak Arabic cannot read Arabic? How jahil are you, man? So you are Look saying to yourself. me, so you are saying to me, you can read Arabic, but you don't speak Arabic. As I told, I can't speak full Arabic, but I know little Arabic. Ah, okay. So don't speak in Arabic then, or don't mention Arabic if you don't speak Arabic. So go ahead. So the Jews they said they call Uzair son of Allah. What happened? Yes, the Jews say Ezra, which is Uzair, mm. is the son of Allah, okay. and the Christians say that the Messiah is the son of Allah. Okay. That is their statement from their mouth. Mm. That is the statement from their mouth, not mm -hmm. from the Torah. This ah. is the answer to your stupid question. Okay. Now answer my question. Uh, no, now hold on, hold question. on, hold on. No, 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 do you want me to show you in the Bible it says that Jesus is the Son of God? This is not from our mouth. It's you in the book. about the Jews. Come on, man. Don't keep hop. It is in you the book. The is, it in the, is it in the book? Is it in the book or not? Can we find right now that Jesus is the Son of God in our Bible? Of course you can find okay. now. So when you say to me, trying to refute me, when you, when, you try, when you fail to refute me saying that this is the saying of their mouth, that is a stupid of you, my friend, because this is what is written in our book, not only no, from our mouth. No, this is stupid of you. Secondly, this when, is your the Quran, saying from your when your Quran mouth. says, now, are you Allah, the he confirmed, the Bible, listen you carefully. How? Now you agreed, you agreed that the, the book, the Christians have the book, it says that Jesus is the Son of God. Then when your God in the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 89 says, comes to them scriptures from Allah, confirming what is in their position. And what is in their position? I, I, knew, that you wanted, I knew that you wanted to hop and you wanted to jump because you, ha you have no answer of let the me questions ask you. that is in the Bible. Let me ask you. The let Bible me, let, says let me, that let no me, one me. have ever saw God. Who? And in different places, it says that Moses spoke with him face to face as a friend speak to a person. Uh. Okay, so? What do you have? What, what, it's, what it's, will you answer? It is the same. What will you answer? Because God appeared God to Moses. Says, God appeared to Moses in an image which fit with Moses. According to your Quran, which is taught from the Bible, it says that God appeared to Moses in the bushes as a fire. Is that correct? Where? In your stupid Quran. And not only that, your God, Allah, he is a tree in the Quran. I knew you wanted to jump. Answer you me. You are the, the one who mentioned to me where, ask... and you are the one who mentioned to me the topic. It's not me who mentioned the story of of no, Moses. Are you going to answer Here me from go. the Bible, or are you going to? You're a prophet. Are, are you're you... a prophet claiming at that. At least, at least, approve that you're ashamed of the Bible. That's why you want to answer me. You're a prophet claiming that Allah is a tree, and Allah He spoke from the tree. The tree is talking. Who is the one who said, Allah, "I am Allah"? The tree. Is that correct? That's a different topic. You want to jump? It is I you know. who mentioned uh, Moses. First answer. It is First you. Answer it is Moses you. From the Bible. It is you Are who you mentioned. It is you who mentioned Moses. Here we go. Here we go. Chapter twenty-eight, verse number and thirty. Me of the Bible. And when he teach reached, when Bible. he reached, he when he reached the, the, the he was called from the right side of, side of this, the valley, man. in the blessed field, from a tree, from a tree, O Moses. I am Allah, the Lord of the world, 
Who was talking from the tree? Allah. Is that correct? I knew you wanted to jump. Are you going to answer from the Bible or are you I'm ashamed answering of you. At least, I'm answering you. A proof. So God, he what appeared to Moses. Can you please repeat this the question? Is how, this, this, is how the repeat Muslims, question? this is how the Muslims, they try to fabricate and they are upset and they don't know what to say. So God, he appeared to Moses face to face. And here we go. God, he is speaking to Moses face to face, but he did not see a face. Are and, you not only that, and not Are only you that, run? your God Allah make it even more crazy. It says in the Quran, I want to ask you, and that will drive you crazy. And you, might lose, you might lose your hair now. Who was? Who was? Who are? Yeah, teach me Arabic. Yeah, you're right. You don't know Arabic, you're teaching me Arabic. So, This is the person in front of you. You said you want to teach me Arabic, you idiot. Here we go. Who is inside the fire? I challenge you. I will shave my 25 meter beard if you can't tell me who is inside the fire. If you can answer me my question, I'm going to answer answered all you already. Questions. You never answer. I answered you already. Please who is question. inside Don't the fire? Question. You are the one who mentioned Moses face to face and etc. Here we go. Yes. Who is inside the fire and who is around the fire? Can you answer? Of course. If you could okay, answer the question. Okay, go ahead. I answer you. Okay, my question is go when ahead, the Bible answer. Says, who is inside the fire? Wait, we go, we can go to the Bible, Bible no problem. Says, my friend, no my friend. One don't ever don't saw waste my time. God. Allah He confirmed what we have in our hands, so you are accusing your God again to be stupid. Why are you so stupid? Why don't you answer the question? Did Allah I answered you? Why I want to waste no why I want to waste why I want to waste my time? How come Moses did, Allah, God? did Allah confirm what we have between our hands? Yes or no? Give an answer. Did someone saw God? Yes or did no? Did Allah confirm what? Did see, Allah confirm what is between our hands? Yes or no? Jumping. Either you say yes or you say no. Please. Did Allah confirm what is between our hands? What do you mean? Did Allah? See, I can did Allah? Ask question, but I know it's a waste of time. Do you mean? I, I keep repeating question. the same thing. You tell me what is. Did Allah confirm the book we have between our hands, which is the gospel? Did Allah confirm the book which we have between our hand, which is the gospel? Can you interpret the meaning of confirm? Because you you you're gonna play. Oh games, no, we need inter we need interpretation for the word confirm. Okay, let me fix it. You speak Arabic. But you can you, 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 you claim you claim that you know Arabic. It says actually it doesn't say confirm. No, I never said it doesn't say I never said that. it doesn't say I it doesn't say I, I, confirm. I have more horrible word for you. You just drag me for this. It doesn't say confirm, it says musaddiq. Musaddiq. Can you tell me what musaddiq means? It can mean many meanings. Tell me the meaning. It can also mean. It confirm. can also. You did not say to me the first one. I'm asking you, Musaddiq, what it does mean. Don't swallow your tongue. Don't bite your tongue. Don't run away and don't hang up. Allah is saying he is a Musaddiq. Don't hang up because Allah, you never answer. Allah is man. saying he is a Musaddiq in our book. Why what, are you what, Musaddiq, my time? what Musaddiq mean? Why why do you keep hopping what and jumping? What Musaddiq mean? We are Still in the loud, verse and you, you start reading and now you stop. No less than stop five, ten verses. Stop being a but potato, be a man. What Musaddiq mean? Is it, why do you want to say it? Why? Is it horrible? Even the genealogy of, the, is of it, Jesus. Is it horrible? Correct. Okay, now we want to talk about the genealogy of Jesus. You idiot. Isn't it the Quran says Jesus have no father? You stupid idiot. So now I'm asking you, stupid Allah idiot. Musaddiq. No, what Musaddiq? Is it true that Musaddiq mean Allah he believe in our book? No, it doesn't say that Allah. So what musaddiq mean? Go ahead. Tell me what musaddiq. I'm asking you. Go ahead and give your fraud Abu Bakr to the Abu Bakr al Sadiq. What Sadiq mean? The one who believe in Islam. So Abu Bakr al Sadiq, the one who sadaqa bi risala, the one who believe in the Muhammad being a prophet. Here Allah is saying not only he is confirming, he believe in our book. No, it doesn't say that. You're a liar. Okay. 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 Hold okay, on. See. Hold on, potato. Okay, let's see. Let's in the see. front of okay, everybody. Wait, wait. In the front of everybody. If I take the word as it is and go to Google Translation, do you accept the translation? As I said, there are many translations. Blah, 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 blah. So I if I take the word as it is and take it to Google Translation. Uh, okay, you... let's, let's do it this way. Wait. 
Wait, wait. Huh? Let's do it this way. You keep go. You keep going to Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Go ahead, open it. I didn't Let's go see. to Ibn Kathir. I'm asking no, you what the you word Musaddiq means. I'm asking you. I'm asking you what the word Musaddiq in Arabic means. What the word Musaddiq means. What the word Musaddiq means. Open Ibn Kathir. What the Are you scared of Ibn Kathir? Don't make me lose my voice. I have a debate is coming. I have a bunch of potatoes. I'm going to fry them after you. So I'm asking you. Be honest. Okay, if we open, right, open, what about we open dictionary? Is that okay? As I said, there are more than one meaning. Doesn't matter. Give me all so, the meaning from the dictionary. Okay. Okay. Give me the meaning of the of musaddiq from the dictionary. Go ahead. What what, what do you want to say? What do you want to say? What does musaddiq mean according to you? Mean believe in it. Does it say the go ahead and believe in the Torah? Allah, he believe in our book. It doesn't say that. We'll prove it wrong. Okay, open Ibn Kathir. Don't run from Ibn Kathir now. Okay. Open. Uh, uh, open Ibn Kathir? So you don't want the Quran now? No, you, you are the one who keeps jumping when you wanted to show the matter of Ishaq alayhi salam. Okay, I want you to promise me. I want you to promise me. I want you to promise me. I want you to swear by Allah that you will accept whatever Ibn Kathir in his books he said. What do you mean? What do you mean? Now you don't understand. I want you to swear by Allah. Whatever Ibn Kathir, he said, he is the one who can judge between me and you. Did I say that? No, I'm asking you to say that because you're asking me to open Ibn Kathir. That's mean open you. Ibn Kathir. That's mean you consider no, Ibn Kathir. That's mean you consider Ibn Kathir your boss. So now I'm asking you. No, can you promise me? Imam can Ibn you Kathir promise me? Otherwise, you are being a coward. Who? Now you don't want Ibn Kathir no more. Or what I'm asking you for, as long as you're asking for Ibn Kathir, that's mean you are, Ibn Kathir is trustworthy, is he? Yes, he is a trustworthy. Okay, is he your scholar, the one who can judge between me and you? Which means whatever I say to you, we will go from now on to Ibn Kathir. Do you agree? Okay, if Ibn Kathir showed more than one narration, what will you believe in? No, this is not the story. I'm asking you, do you promise no, me? No, this is the story. Do you promise me? So you know you don't want Ibn Kathir no more. Do you promise me that Go whatever ahead, I show you, you whatever, you wh whatever Ibn Kathir ahead, he says, open. do you agree? Whatever Ibn Kathir he says, you accept. Anything Ibn Kathir Why am he not says. Gonna accept? Huh? Why am I not going to accept? I, make, I want you to make a promise because as soon as I show you, you will say, I don't accept. Make a promise of a man that whatever is in the book of Ibn Kathir, I accept. And I say your name and everybody can hear you. Say your name is whatever your name. I swear by Allah that whatever Ibn Kathir says, whatever, whatever in his book says, I will accept. Make a promise. Go ahead. And we will go to okay, Ibn Kathir. Okay, so do you, do, do you mean that uh, a man cannot make a mistake? I never said that. Okay, Ibn so Kathir now is Ibn Kathir mistake. making a mistake. Here we go. I never said so that. So Ibn Kathir, is Ibn Kathir is a trustworthy? You said yes. The second I ask you, do you Ibn believe Kathir what Ibn Kathir is a trustworthy? So my friend, you are just, uh, just go. You know, you can call me a second time later. You know, what an idiot. Do you want Ibn Kathir or not? The second we ask him, do you dare to say I accept whatever Ibn Kathir he says? He don't want to say. Why? Because he knew that Ibn Kathir is the poopoo -poo guy. Ibn Kathir is my favorite puppy. I will make you sorry if you say I believe in Ibn Kathir. But because he knew that they are a bunch of hypocrites. Ibn Kathir, when they want, he is a scholar. It's not me who refuse Ibn Kathir, it's you. So do you accept, do you make a promise to accept whatever Ibn Kathir says? I'm going to accept what Ibn Kathir says. Go ahead. Okay. Now don't ask me questions. Swear by Allah, swear by Allah, that whatever Ibn Kathir says in his book about the Quran, you accept. Go ahead. What do you mean? Are you scared to open why, Ibn Kathir? Why you don't want to swear? You just said you accept. Say to me, please, I accept whatever Ibn Kathir says in his book about the Quran. Go ahead. I said I'm going to accept. Go ahead, open. Don't get scared. No, swear by Allah. Whatever, whatever in the book of Ibn Kathir. Whatever in the book of Ibn Kathir. Go ahead. Okay, so now you want to fool the audience. I'm not fooling. I'm just asking you to repeat certain words. Can you do that? It's, it's simple. And then I promise you right away I will go to Ibn Kathir. So what do you want me to swear? Swear that you accept whatever written in the book of Ibn Kathir from the first page to the last page. Go ahead. 
Okay, so now I'm talking about this verse and you want me we to... We are talking about this uh, verse too. We are talking about, to we are talking about this verse too. We are nas. talking about this verse. We are talking about this verse and any verse. Is Ibn Kathir a scholar or not? Ibn Kathir is a scholar. Okay, Don't so do you accept, coward. my Go friend, ahead. why you Open are worried, this. why you are worried, say please, if you are a person who trusts Ibn Kathir, is a scholar because for you. You are a liar. And you know that, let me tell you something. You know that sometimes Ibn Kathir gives difference of opinion of scholars i don't care difference you, of opinion. it is you who mention no. it is so you who you me it is you who mention no. it it is you who mention him either he is a trustworthy why are you accept? scared so to open do you Kathir? accept do you accept whatever every kathir he says okay please? now i got it so you, you want to keep running and in the same time you want to go ahead and read okay, Kathir before this is Ibn Kathir read it for me let us see who is the coward okay where is Ibn Kathir? Read it. This is Ibn Kathir. Tafsir Ibn Kathir, the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Read it. I can't see it on the screen. مصدقا لما بين يديه من التوراة والإنجيل. Do you see it? This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Can you zoom out? He Can believed. Out? He believed in what is between his hands from the Torah and the Injil. What say you? Yeah, zoom out. Okay, I will zoom out. Here we go. Why don't you translate this? Uh, you translate. You said you know how to read Arabic. Why do you keep lying? Why my, do you keep my, putting my words friend, in my, my friend, mouth? Do you, do I you, said I don't know do you accept Arabic. Ibn Kathir or not? Yes, translate this in okay. Arabic, in English. It says here, Musaddiqan believing in what is between his hands from the Torah and the Injil. That's what it says. And uh, open Google Translation in English. This one. I will use page. Google Translation in English. Do you promise me whatever Google Translation in English says you will accept? Again, you want to run. Again, do you, you want to run. Do you accept? Here we go. I will do it in front of your eyes. People will die laughing at you. Here we go. go translate. Translate to English. Boom, 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 boom. Translate to English. Translate to English. Here we go. It says, confirming what is revealed between hey, their hands. Huh? One minute. Read it. Read it. Confirming what meaning confirming what is revealed from it. What is the Torah said, Allah what? Almighty confirming that came? Can you zoom out? Well, I am zooming out and I'm reading. And this is the Arabic version of it again. And this is read with me. This is KSUW, KSU. Even, even Google know that it's conforming, and you keep saying that it means that believe in it. You're so, a liar. So Everybody now, so now this is Google translation. So now you agree that your stupid Quran confirming what we have. You're so stupid. You just said. You just said. You just said. You just, you just said. Look, look, look how stupid you are. You just said that you know that this is what you said. I will quote you. You know that that Google saying confirming. So you just admitted that the Quran confirming our book. No, don't feel, don't, don't fool the audience. You just said that. It's not me who said that. Yeah, as I said, it means confirming. But okay, so why? So saying, is it confirming it what is between our hands? So the Quran, so the Quran confirming what is between our hands. It says, "Ba bayna yadayhi min al Torah wal Why you were lying in the starting? Why you were lying that Abdul. it doesn't mean confirm? It means truthful. Why do you, I did not say truthful. Say I said musaddiq. Musaddiq means believe. Ah, uh, why did you say that? The Google even knows okay. that it's not believe. Do you want me to show you the word musaddiq from the Quran from different verse, and you will see it means believe? And then I you will, already told and then you, you the starting that it and has then, more and than one you, meaning. And then you will be Abdul. Shame on you, man. And then you Shame will be you. in trouble. So now, do you agree that the Quran is saying the truth, or you are against the Quran? You choose Ibn why? Kathir. You choose Ibn Kathir. I showed you Ibn Kathir, and now you are in trouble. So Ibn Kathir, no, in the translation, no, in the translation, you, you said you it says confirm on the display so that nobody reads it because you are scared of the translation. I showed the translation too. Why are you now displaying Arabic? Go ahead, put the translation. Let's read it from the starting to the end. Okay, here we go. Let us read it from the start to the end. Here we go. Uh huh. Yes. Go ahead. All right. Don't be a coward. Come on. If I go to the Ibn Kathir in English, you will see he cut it off. Here we see the following. Read with me carefully. 
Go ahead. This is a fake love. <laughs> Go when ahead. Allah came to them, the book of the Jews and the Quran confirming that is with them. And this is Ibn Kathir between two brackets, the Torah and the gospel. What you would do now? Are you going to do the monkey dance for me? And I will post. Here we go. This is the link of Ibn Kathir. Anyone can go there. Chapter 2, verse number 89. Apologize for being Chapter ignorant. 13. Apologize Wait, for being a hypocrite. Apologize for does it say does it say in the front of your eyes and this is your Muslim translation. And when it there come to them between two bracket the Jews, a book between two bracket the Quran from Allah confirming what is, what is with them. What is with them? What is with them? Does it say that in the front of your screen? Read what is below it because the below who care, got the answer who care. for poison. Quran confirm what is with us. Does it say that in the Quran? The 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 answer of the poison is below. Go ahead, let the people read. Where the Abu answer in the poison for that? Where it says that? Here we go. Where it says Let's that read. the book is not confirmed. Read it. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Where? The, uh, use. Wait. Okay. Scroll down a little. The Jews used to ask Allah to send Muhammad so that they would gain victory over the Arab disbelievers. Mm. They used to say, oh Allah, send the prophet that we read about in the Torah mm. so that we can, we can torment and kill the disbelievers alongside. Mm. When Allah sent Muhammad and the people saw that he was one, not one of them, they rejected him and invited the Arabs, even though they knew that he was the messenger of Allah. Hence Allah said, go ahead, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, here we Don't go. Okay, here we go. There's only one line left. Go ahead. Let us laugh. Nothing. Nothing will support you. So the Jews did not believe in Muhammad. We got that. Hold down. Don't be a coward. This is the end. The idiot. This is the end. This is the end. That's it. There's no more. And this is the end. It? Oh, it says here, Lord, more. Hold on. Here we go. Huh. There's no more. The verse is explained. Those about different verses now. Yeah. So what the verse is saying, this is the, this is the second verses after verses saying they disbelieve in him. We know that. But what the important is, the Quran says in Ibn Kathir that Allah confirmed the Torah and confirmed the Bible. And this is Ibn Kathir words. Yes, be, the answer of your poison is, is mentioned below, as I said. Be, we are not mentioned below. Below they refuse Muhammad. We know that. So the Quran confirming our book, the rest is the Jews that refuse Muhammad. So Allah, he sent the book to Muhammad confirming our book. That's wonderful. Believing in our book, that's wonderful. Then the Jews, they said to Muhammad, you are a fraud, get lost. That's perfect. So this is what the verse is saying. So your, 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 your argument with me is, if the Quran confirming our book or not, and you are the one who challenged me to go to Ibn Kathir. And now yeah. I showed you Ibn Kathir in Arabic. You said, no, this is not correct translation. Now I'm showing you Ibn Kathir in English. It's not a correct translation because you're a fraud and liar. And I get lost. We got you busted. We made you famous, and this video will be go crazy when people watch it. Is that guy's Ibn Kathir or not? Who is the fraud? You see, when this Abdul, he saw that I'm asking him, do you promise me he thought that he have a victory now? There's something fishy. This guy, he don't want to go to Ibn Kathir. Learn how to make them excited, like a cat, you know? You have to move something in front of her. You know what I mean? So he got more excited. I want Ibn Kathir now. I challenge you. And I said, Abdul, for the sake of the shin of Allah, don't go there. Are you promising me to accept whatever Ibn Kathir is saying? Okay, 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 okay. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. We show it to him in Arabic, we show it to him in English, and the potato, he went not. So the stupid Muhammad, and when they come to us and they say your Bible is corrupt, and then the stupid Muhammad himself, he says, No, their book is confirmed, not only confirmed, this is a false translation. The word musaddiq means believe. Believe. If I go right now to the Quran and search for the exact word meme in the beginning is about, you know, like uh, uh, telling you what this person did or the situation, description of him. But the word Saddaqa, this is what is the word. 
صدق هير الله صدق because this is just about telling that he is a truth trans truth truth you see the word صدق 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 is the same all over the Quran chapter 3 verse number 95 chapter 10 verse number 2 chapter 10 verse number 93 oh this is sadiqah this is a different word here let us go actually it's the same at the end i mean it's a stupid to even try to defend islam but i respect in you that you have the guts to call me You have the gut to call me. This is the chapter 2048, verse number 27. صدق الله رسوله Allah has a fulfilled the vision of his messenger in very truth. صدق present believing in the truth. So when the Quran says, He, Allah, صدق لما معهم مصدق لما معهم Allah believing in what they have not only confirming in any way the word confirming means he believes in it because he is the one who wrote it supposedly so when the Muhammadan he tried to refute you about the Bible don't waste your time because now if I spend my time speaking to this guy showing him verses after verses explaining him he will say to me at the end of the day you did lie now we showed him from his book can he deny it Good luck with that. Don't forget to download the video. Make this person famous. He deserve it. All right? And as you see, they are no match. Ibn Kathir work for me. Al-Tabari work for me. Al-Qurtabi, all they are paid by me. They are my servants to defeat you. And you're a prophet himself, you work for me. Nobody make poo as much as your prophet. In one place, he says the first thing Allah created was the pen, and then we find that there is a throne, there is water, there is air, above air, underneath air. What is that? Is, is, is airborne jumper? And then Allah is above the water. Before, Prophet, what was exist before Allah created anything, Prophet? Oh, his throne was above the water. So where is the water coming from? This is what happened when you have a donkey announcing himself as a prophet. But the Chinese are smarter. The Chinese, they say, he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. Guys, I have to hang up because I, I have wait, people waiting for me. And I don't know if I can even talk to them now. Maybe they are asleep. So tomorrow in the morning, early time, I'm going to, uh, to, to, uh, to schedule it for now, for you know, so you will know. Uh, so tomorrow I will be maybe by 6.30, 7 in the morning, uh, um, yeah, 6.30, 7 in the morning, New York time. So join us and we might have, have a very, very interesting debate. It's a massacre. It is a disaster. We tell you from now. Get ready. Thank you all for being here. Victory to Jesus. The lies of Muhammad defeated and Muslims leaving Islam left and right. It is an avalanche. What you can do about it? Nothing. Nobody can answer us. Nobody can debate us for a very simple reason. What kind of Islam thing? is a joke. Islam is a joke. You do not even need to be a genius. Learn, educate yourself, and the comedy will come. When they say to you, nothing better than the book of Allah, I agree, for comedy. The end she said, and Allah is quoting the end. And then the guy, he says, Allah translating what the end said. And supposedly this is not the Quran. Can you believe it? So we found now that the Quran is nothing but a translation of the end book. Can you believe it? The end was talking, Allah translating what the end said. And this is the end talking to you. Allah translating the end book. At least Allah be honest and say this book is nothing but a translation for the end and the genie. And Isa and Mary and Jibreel. 
Wait, it's getting bigger. See? Show that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam Don't every single year. Tomorrow, Our youth time. are full of doubt. And that is Muslim Maybe youth wait. leaving Islam. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Your child is about to become apostate. Your child is about to become apostate. In America, this is the last thing, 23% are becoming apostates of Muslims, American-born Muslims. Well, like... so one of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18 who have openly declared their... In Allah. I don't believe that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was a messenger of Allah. I don't believe that the Quran is a book of revelation. It is happening. It is happening continuously. It is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over.